I'm good. I'm so excited to be here for your film, We Have Always Lived in the Castle, and you've earned the reputation of a modern-day scream queen. I want to know if, if there were any moments in this film that made you jump. Um... That's interesting. I don't know. I don't think so. You know, the character I play, she's very introverted and she's very internal. Um, so she doesn't express those sort of things outwardly. So if there's anything she's afraid of, it just, she goes in and dark. So I never, I don't think I really had any of the, those moments for me on set. Okay, well, how is this character different from some of the characters you've played in the past? Um, oh my gosh, I think she's, I think she's probably the furthest character from me. She's also someone who doesn't express herself outwardly, like, in any capacity. She doesn't really know how to communicate. And there's only one person in the world that she cares about, which is her sister, her sister Constance. So it's really interesting playing someone who, she really doesn't make eye contact with almost anyone in the film, except for, except for Constance, except for her sister. She's the only person that she respects enough to, to, to meet her gaze and actually have, like, a real connection and communicate with. Um, so I don't know, she's just different in, in so many ways. And that's obviously such a stark contrast from how you are in real life. I mean, we're making direct <laughs> eye contact right, right now. I <laughs> yeah, I know. Look at this I magic. Have a conversation. <laughs> how do you get into character for a role like that? Um, you know, it always helps. Hair, makeup, wardrobe. Um, I mean, it's for me, it's, it's, it's the necessity. As soon as I change, as soon as I, you know, you go through the works and you put the clothes on and then you can, your body just changes with it. You just feel it. You just, it's literally stepping into someone else's shoes and becoming that person. So are there any characters that you haven't had the chance to play yet, like a dream character that you would love outside of a horror, thriller type of genre? Um, I'm not sh I, I don't know. I don't know if I have like a specific kind of character. I'm just always open to something new, something that makes me push myself and discover something new about my personality. I guess it's a little selfish in that regard, but I, I like learning new things about me, and I, I, I get the chance to do that through my, you know, I get the amazing opportunity through my job. Is there anything specific that you learned about yourself through this film? Um, I've learned that I'm a much better communicator and it's much better, <laughs> it's very important to actually express yourself and talk about things instead of bottle up and just keep pushing it down. Yeah. Well, I think that's a message we can all take away then yes, from this. I think the whole world is learning to communicate better, myself included. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Taysa. It was so great getting to talk to you. Of course, thank you. I appreciate it. this film. Awesome. <laughs>